Hello and welcome back to more Persona 5 Strikers, where last time we potentially learned some very interesting- well, no, not potentially. We definitely learned some very interesting information about our super awkwardly, uh, creepily energetic friend who works at the university. And I then, with that information, might have deduced a little something about her personality- well, not personality, but her, her background and her motivations of where she comes from, what, what she's trying to do here. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out just to- to, to see whether I'm correct or not, but for the time being what we can do is head over to, to where Futaba is Because Futaba at the end of the last episode texted us saying hey, let's hang out before we leave and I said okay because Futaba's cool There you are. I want to get a picture in this cut before we head out. This is a great photo op So it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called Anari over too, so you should join us Uh, sure Hey, thanks. I'll start making some memories. I think we've already been making memories, but you know what's a few more to add to the pile Okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like uh, Date Mas Masamune. In the blue corner, we have Inari. If I don't quite follow, I'll do my best. How's this? Whoa, this is crazy. You really do look like him. <laughs> Looking good, Yusuke. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. Very artistic. Really? Is it? I can't tell from where I'm standing. Hmm, hmm there's still something missing. Oh, that's right. oh, I know. You get the other one. That's it. Ah, here comes the princess. Cute couple. Is it, is it just me, or are we being exploited for our entertainment? Oh, no. Really? You, you just noticed that, Gusuke. It's all, we're an item now. Deal with it. Get over it. Well, if you say so. Hey. Yeah, it looks great. Maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this. Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Anara, you're Lord Dade Masamune. As a ruler of the Tohoku region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it! I see. Then perhaps, like this? You think you can win the respect of your people like that? Then how about this? Oh, dear God. Uh... Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. Went a, little, went a little overboard there, Yusuke. Which I'm sure he's perfectly familiar with. Going overboard, that is. Everyone had fun at the photo stand-in. Did we? That wasn't quite what I was expecting, but... You know. Anyway. Okay. Now, we're gonna head back over here. I'm guessing Makoto doesn't want to spend time with us, because usually, it's only it's only whoever the person to actually text us, text us wants to spend time together, but we're gonna talk to her anyway to see how Should it goes. Next up is Hokkaido. Make sure you've taken care of all your last-minute shopping and sightseeing. If you like, you could even train for a bit in the jail. A little workout before a long car ride can do wonders. Yeah, no thanks. We're gonna go ahead and pass on that opportunity. Alright, let's get out of the hideout. And go to the next city. Are we heading out? Yes, yes we are. Alright, let's do this. One of your requests about to be voided. Yeah, 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 whatever. We're not doing requests. Let's continue on our adventure. Let's see what other... Hijinks we get up to along the along the road trip. So, uh, how long to Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. I see once again the side and front windows are screwing with my with, with my eyes because they're going in opposite directions than they shouldn't be. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be all right, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like that energy! A few hours later, a certain parking area. I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> Thanks. I should be fine after a little rest. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Yeah, driving 12 hours straight anywhere is generally not a good idea. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. It's still exhausting and you shouldn't be going 12 hours straight. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. Keeps me alert and motivated. Well, evidently that didn't work, which is why we're at the rest stop right now. And we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage 
watch our shoulders at once and procure the finest self-serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. So why isn't she the one to do this first? I could use a good massage. Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue. But I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. That's not at... How have you possibly arrived at this conclusion? Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. You didn't... Okay, I, d I don't... I don't buy that at all. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Her mood swung right back to normal. Yeah, that's... that's I, I don't... No, I don't buy that at all. You don't... Mm -mm, no, that's rubbing me the wrong way. It's like, oh, I'm so down and sad, and I'm so helpless and worthless. Really? You think I'm awesome? Oh, that's so kind. You shouldn't have. Oh, by the way, let's get let's get some soft serve at... Nah. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. What now? Uh, no thanks. Did she just say wasabi soda? Okay. You have fun. I'll I'll be over here. You 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 enjoy that. Have a grand old time. Hang in there, Makoto. Sapporo's just a stone's throw away. I hear you. Hokkaido sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge Kaido by my reckoning. But I'm Tish. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here. So hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we nearly stripped naked by morning time. Now that obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. I was going to say that we have arrived at our destination, but then the loading screen popped up, and I- Oh, okay, that was a pretty short one, actually. Hello, Sapporo! So this is Sapporo Central City. A bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but- I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkichi's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me go. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Hey, remember yesterday when you were whining about how you're worthless and can't do anything to help us? Now all of a sudden you've immediately identified exactly the thing that we need, almost as if you're not worthless and that was there's a stunt or something crazy like that? Hmm. 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 Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intern. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. Better say, you're not getting out of this one, Morgana. No, 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 no. You're getting in the bath, too. Nice try. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just fine. It, uh, Morgana, if you insist you're not a cat, then you shouldn't be afraid of a little bathtub. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Ah, but he's not a cat. I demand you give your data a full Can't have it both ways, Morgana. You gotta pick a lane and stick to it. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, Sophia. You, you, for someone whose entire life revolves around electro electro electronics and a digital data realm, 
you have surprisingly little knowledge on what happens when you mix electricity with a water. Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, will you guys... Oh, maybe she was trying to tell us something with that. Like a cry for help. That's a dark joke. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is Odori Park. It's famous for its fountain and TV tower. The bathhouse is in a place called Suzu Suzushino. It should only be a short walk away from here, so let's get going. Okay, a new city full of new possibilities, but also I am was kind of hoping that we would get to get to have more time between... between... wait. Okay, I, my eyes are playing tricks. I, I, thought, I thought I saw more in the, in the background popping than I did. Because it's definitely, it's definitely popping, obviously. The trees are popping in very frequently. But I, I thought my, my, my eyes, I think, just played tricks on me. I thought I saw a whole building pop in, but my bad. Anyway, I, I was kind of hoping that there would be more between the cities. You know, kind of like last time we had that stop at the beach where we, where we cooked out for the night. But it was less of that this time. Just, just one little stop at a rest area. So, but whatever. We'll, well, I'm sure we'll get more of it as, as the game goes on. Because that, that's... The one thing I wish that this game had more of was character moments with this with with the group, and not so much the individual stuff with the villains. Mommy, do you think Kaho-chan will like these? I do. She'll say, "Thank you for the pretty flowers." If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park. It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? I mean, granted, given what we learned about, or what I think we learned about Sophia's career last time, I guess I shouldn't be surprised by the complete lack of emotional awareness, but, you know, it's still disconcerting to see. But not as disconcerting as this loading screen, of which you'd think I'd be used to by now, but I'm still not, because they just... I wonder if you, if you added up every single loading screen in this game, as in the length, the duration of each load screen individually, and added them all together, how many movies could you watch before you all the loading screens ended? Now we're in Suzushino, which is apparently a haven for, for pedestrians around this time. I wonder why it's so crowded, though. Everyone's talking about voting. Well, no matter. Back to the bathhouse. Just go straight for a bit, then take a right, and you'll be there. Okay. Then I guess we're headed our headed our way over to a bathhouse. Also, I think I saw I think I saw someone talk about how they need to vote for someone. Yeah, right there. Bacon candidate is in Japan. I'll just vote for Hyodo. Do, do do you think do you think that Mariko Hyodo might have something to do with with who? G G G. Do you think with all the messages popping up about the mayoral election, do you think that might have something to do with why we're here? I can't wait to find out. Let's see. What a fancy spot. Okay, get, go get yourself cleaned up. I, did you already forget Morgana? You're coming in with us. We're not, we're not leaving you out here. You're, you're getting cleaned up as well. Ah, now this is paradise. I'll say. The heat has crept into my bones. I've learned a valuable lesson on this journey. Sometimes you simply need to enjoy being naked. Eh. So, on the list of th things you shouldn't say. JPEG, this is up in the top spot. The Yusuke, you need to think about the things you say before you open your mouth. Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Well, uh, this... Before, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength. And if you went to the bathhouse near the long at the right time of day, you could get it all to yourself. Whoa, on. Are those CGI? I. 
okay, so that's hilarious. That's... <laughs> that's, uh... That is perfectly written, and the fact that Futaba said it makes it even funnier, because that is how she chooses to... She, she does the their real and their spectacular Seinfeld thing, but in terminology that would make sense. That's all right, game. You get you get points for that. You you get points for that joke. I can hear the voices coming from the girl's side. Oh dear God. I didn't think about- I didn't- I didn't- I quit. I didn't think about what was implied in saying looking good for you, G. I didn't think about what that was implying. I didn't- you know, I didn't- we're gonna pretend that that didn't- we're gonna- I'm- you're just- we didn't- I- we're- Aw, oh, thanks. I've been really working these abs. Wait, what? Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Where is Morgana? Sophia. Oh, wait, I know. He's, he's, he's in the rafters on the other side of the wall, obviously. He's in the rafters up there, getting a bird's eye view, or a cat's eye view, if you will. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? She's humanity's companion. That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Try as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it, its enigma grows deeper still. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. It's me thinking she might not need to worry about all that hard stuff. Except for the part where we were t we were talking about how someone might have passed away and the tragedy that it was involved in the trauma the family had been undergoing and then she bipped up like hey what, what what's happening why are we going to the bathhouse why did we stop oh are we going to the bathhouse let's go to the bathhouse as as, 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 as as with absolutely no emotional intelligence which makes sense if what i'm if what i think is true about her origin is correct but still might not might, might not want to write that one off just yet there that is indeed a logical conclusion Particularly for a sentient program, understanding the heart would certainly prove helpful. Uh, yeah, what you said. She seems pretty dead set on it, too. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, he's starting to get to me. Wanna ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? Whoa, that sounds good too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We're in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. Reverse card, I literally cannot consume milk. Take that, Yusuke. Also, strawberry milkshakes are underrated as hell. Drink one, right now. Appreciated properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the other. The way farmers have done for millennia. I... Uh, yeah, knock yourself out, man. Well, that was something. All right, body and mind refreshed. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> you know. If you think we were quiet, you did not hear our intellectually stimulating discussion on milk and the process to which it is obtained through a cow, or what the heart desires in Sophia. So, we were societally not quiet. Huh? You have a phone call from Zinkichi. Oh, great, my favorite person. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a bull. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? No, we fell in a ditch somewhere. Don't come find us. We're dead. Goodbye. I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. 
I'm gonna swing by the RV in the evening. Yeah, good luck finding it. Zenkichi's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for it. Do we have to? Oh, why do we have to do this? Can we talk to a, a rock instead? It'd probably be less painful. More interesting. Well, I mean, not as interesting as this loading screen, of course, but still. It's something. It's better than Zenkichi. I, I, I think I would actually rather sit in this loading screen than talk to Zenkichi, to be honest with you. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the Monarch of Sapporo. Okay, I can't not point this out. Futaba's hair is literally clipping through the ceiling. I, 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 I um, this, uh. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Our target's a mayor? What? Hey, wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? Whoever could have guessed it? It involves the mayoral election. Oh, wow. Whoever could have predicted this? How could someone like that be a monarch? I, her hair is just clipping through. I, I, bleh. This is true. Such things have happened before. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilman who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. pubsec has been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So, what do you make of all this? Bingo. And that's where you come in. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, Kyoto's going to be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Possibly. Sorry, let's put that aside for now. Are we, are we gonna get a- Don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. Is the game gonna subvert my expectations and make Haru the one who actually takes up the role in this pa in this jail as opposed to Makoto like we thought? Alright, let's see. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey. Should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? Nope. She's an important part of our investigation now. But also, if my even if my answer was going to be no, it doesn't matter now because you've just asked in front of him. Hey, should you think we should talk about this thing that I've just mentioned in front of him? It's like, gee, I don't know. What do you think? Should we? I can hear you. You know exactly. You're me in? You it, B Makoto. You're smarter than that. I know you're smarter than that. You wouldn't have made you. <sighs> to give Zenkichi the details. Great job, Makoto. You made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose's the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medis, actually. 
wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medis. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? No. Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Maybe it's because you suck or something. I don't know. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo jumbo. Well, it would certainly help if you understood it to some degree since that's the entire point of our operation here, you idiot. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Then by all means, come with us on an adventure to the metaverse. I would love to see you try. Of course, I'd also love to see you as a crater, so everybody wins. Uh, mm -hmm. At least say something. I just did. Crater. Remember the crater? I, that's that's what I just said. I don't need your pity. That, you, so, ah! Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the tenth, and I'm counting on you to be there. God, he sucks so bad. I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? I, I don't miss Akechi, because I was thinking of I was thinking of wh whether he's worse than the people that I hated in the first game, and he's not worse than Akechi yet, but I do I, I I at the very least I miss the Makoto sister. So, you know it's, he's not as he's Worse than her, if nothing else. It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, uh, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Remember when you thought you were useless? Yeah, I remember. It was less than an hour ago. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island, and an important cultural property. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? This flower is completely wilted. How could you overlook this? Ma'am, I'm so sorry. It's just this summer's been much hotter than last year. Spare me your excuses. This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't be much longer. Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this! You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again! Then that's what I'll do, Mayor! Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Yeah, from the staff. That's where the unprofessional behavior came from. Obviously. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? You are Haru-chan. 
All right, consider my expectations subverted. I guess we're actually gonna we're gonna defy the 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 state. I thought we were gonna go in the same order from the first game, and Makoto was gonna be up next. But I guess it's horror up next. It's still symptomatic of the overarching problem, though, which is that the main conflict comes from one character of the bunch really mattering to the story and basically nobody else. Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hyodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Hyodo? She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic. Oh, could it be your Mari-san? Yes, yes. Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. And she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Well, guess what? Now she's evil! Incidents. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Also, we don't know exactly how young she was when she was visiting her, but she's in college now. I don't know that you would recognize her if she's... Presuming it's been at least 10 years, I don't know that you'd still recognize her. People tend to change a lot. Like if, you look, if you look at pictures of yourself when you were a kid compared to now, you tend to change a lot. So... Ah. Oh, please forgive me. Seems my emotions got the better of me. Also, can someone tell this dude he doesn't need to perpetually bow in obedience? Like, he, he can stand up now. It's okay. We don't need you to have your breaking your back. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy it to the fullest once we kick your ass. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. At the cost of their mental health, and physical health as it seems. Don't just stare. They all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. By chance, would you give us your keyword? Or perhaps just concede defeat right now and we'll, and we'll skip this step. Sorry to be so blunt, but... She seems really two-faced. Really? Oh, son, you used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? No. No. Of course she is. Sargo apes shit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. It's almost as if maybe the person who has the most re relevance to the to the monarch in question shouldn't be the one to actually engage with them on the topic of hand because they might get them they might get overwhelmed by emotion like what happened with Yusuke in the last chapter or something crazy like that. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Okay, well, the plot thickens, I suppose. Although it still follows the same general trend that we had expected it to, mm -hmm. just with a different character. Also, there's all kinds of people here, meaning there are all kinds of rumors, too. What we want is any kind of info that points to Mariko Hyoto being a monarch. Let's go.
Let's go. Okay. So, to begin with, uh, oh, bi the big name burger shop is just pervasive. It's all over the place. Hello there, On. What have you learned today? Anything? Look at all the people. I thought maybe a celebrity was here, but I guess they all came out to check out that poster. Poster for Mayor Hyodo, I can finally meet you at last. Oh, yes, you are all my hopes and dreams embodied. Oh, boy, how do you go? Are you in for a world of disappointment? Really? The guy's totally out of it. Is he talking about going to the speech tomorrow? Better not let our guard down. Okay, and we're already up to 34%. Alrighty then. Uh, who else can we... Oh, what was that? Oh, I got a text from someone? There's been an emergency. Please come to the vending machine and the pharmacy immediately. You might want... What? Do, how much you want to bet this alleged emergency is going to be com a complete non-issue? It's going to be completely not an issue at all. What happened, Yusuke? Look at this. It's canned juice featuring milk and fish in a label. For returning search results, this drink called Primordial Soup was considered a regional specialty. They pressed the juices out of locally sourced fish and blended with fresh Hokkaido milk. It's marketed toward men in particular. I don't know about all that. I'm just worried about the smell. Who would invent such a monstrosity? It seems the poor culture is not to be trifled with. Seriously. Sheesh, you got my hair all standing up for nothing. Now, are you done gathering rumors? Not in the slightest. I was so taken aback that I lost focus. <sighs> Gee, remember earlier when I was talking about how there was no chance this was going to be anything serious and it was going to be a complete non-issue? Ah, well, there, there we go. It's, I, it's, duh. Hello. Mm -hmm. I was going to, oh, well, I guess we can buy this stuff. Uh, how much can we, we can afford? We have enough to buy both. And max capacity of both. There's no reason not to. Uh, I was trying to talk to this guy, but obviously that was not working out too well. So, I'll be doing that. Uh, who else can we speak with? Can we speak with you? No. Anyone around here that's looking for... No, no one around that way. That's looking for a... Looking for a chat. But I assume there's someone... Someone out there somewhere who would... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, pharmacy. It's no... <coughs> it's no use. <coughs> Must hurry. <coughs> Need medicine. Uh, go see a doctor. I mean, I'd like to, but I don't have the time. The worker... I work delicious tomorrow, too. Uh, maybe your health is more important than your shift. Just putting it out there. You need to hurry up and recover, or at least get back to work, or otherwise the mayor's gonna be livid. Did you say? Give me all the energy drinks and medicine you got. I'm talking about emptying the shelves here. Is he being overworked like that city employee we saw this afternoon? Oh, yeah, I never would have get. Uh, it... See, <sighs> I get that there's not we, like we don't have that many people to talk to, but the rate at which we get from zero to hundred percent still blows my mind. How quickly we get up there. Anyway, okay, so where else can we where else can we go that we have not yet gone? Can I cross the street? I can indeed cross the street. Okay, oh wait, there was a, I saw a thing. Hello? You need something? Look, I'm meeting up with a chick right now, so maybe later. Well, great, you were of approximately no use to me. But you might be able to help. Oh, are you kids Hyoto supporters too? No, we are absolutely not. No? You're only collecting rumors about her? Is that for an assignment or something? Uh, you could say that. Day in and day out, all I hear is the same old fanaticism. People won't shut up about Hyoto. They say she's as trustworthy as it gets, but I'm pretty sure she's hiding something. There's no such thing as honest politician. Okay. So there's still... We're still only at 73. That did not... I was just talking about how it barely... We, we, we go up from 0 to 100, like, instantly. Because we were already at 74%. And now I talked to one person, I got... I, got, I went up 2%. A whopping whole 2%. So... Perhaps the lesson here is that I need to stop talking or else it's going to manifest the antithesis of what we're looking for. You find anything interesting, Ryuji? Yo, look at all the ramen spots they got. It's crazy how they're, like, everywhere. Man, this place is the real deal. I almost don't want to leave. Good grief. Feasting your eyes is fine, but don't forget why we're here. Yeah. I didn't forget. We're, we were uh, looking for rumors about Hyoto, right? I guess telling me we'll find some here. Maybe. Your gut needs to stay more focused than it is. Okay, who have we not spoken to yet? Uh, Haru, I haven't, haven't spoken to Haru yet. You would seem to know the most about the situation. It might be due to the upcoming election, but every nearly everyone is talking about Mari-san. I haven't heard any criticism either. They're all singing her praises. To me, it's almost unnatural. I wonder. I, I think we can stop the wondering phase and skip straight to the of course she's what we're looking for phase. Wow, look at all the people. I wonder why everyone has such a serious expressions. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing I can't cross there. Who have we yet to speak with? 
that has, imp has critical information to our quest. I'm sure there's someone... I, I guess there's people down there that we could speak to. And we didn't. You have to go through a loading screen? I am stunned. I thought for sure that would lead to a loading screen. I've noticed there's a lot of posters about a cleanup campaign taking place. It seems they're making an effort to beautify the city, or this is how it's framed. Could this be the mayor's doing? Something seems a little off to me. And Futaba? I was looking for rumors online, but I found out something even more intriguing. Look at this, Makoto. There's a very creepy building in Suzushino, Su Su and it's supposed to be haunted. Ooh, spooky. Uh, there are only a few beings I can think of that can actually haunt a building. As for where it is, it's okay, you don't need to say it. Flashbacks to when we charged into Futaba's house, as if it was actually a haunted house and Makoto was scared out of her mind. Ah, memories. Ah, memories. Okay. So where... What have we not been to yet? Have we, have we been down here? Oh, there's something... There's a bubble over here. Huh, hey you, you're voting for Mayor Kyoto this coming election, aren't you? Uh... Not interested. Young people these days. Uses this liberty experience. Mayor Kyoto is a wonderful person. She'll be the one to guide Sapporo... Nay, this country. Perhaps even this very world to new heights. This upcoming election is the first step on that journey. Mayor Kyoto, Sapporo stands with you. You, my friend, have lost your damn mind. Long live Mayor Hyoto, glory to Sapporo, you sound crazy. Listen to listen to yourself, you sound like a heretical prophet. Jeez. Alright, well, I, I mean, investigation complete, so we did it anyway. Alright, we've got plenty of information. The situation is similar to Shibuya and Sendai. The more we hear, the more suspicious Yoto becomes. If she's giving out her keyword during speeches that Zenkichi says, we'll know if she's a monarch or not by entering her keyword on Emma. It's got a better lady thing, you'll be ready for tomorrow. See if we should head back? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, tomorrow's the big day. Let's see what kind of person Hyoto really is. After this loading screen. No, no, not that loading screen. Not. I would have preferred the actual loading screen, not the. It seems that you and your friends are becoming much stronger. We had to come here, didn't we? However, the shadow of calamity creeps ever closer to your path. Please bear this in mind. I only know that an evil is worming its way into being, though I know not its true nature. As for the topic at hand, I summoned you here to notify you about your power of the wild card. The number of personas you can maintain has increased due to your growth. Your potential to wield multiple personas comes with endless possibilities. Hone this power alongside the companions with whom you've formed unbreakable bonds and prepare for the coming calamity. Whatever else you may need, I'm here for you. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yeah, goodbye. See ya. I, 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 we don't... Yeah, time to head back. We don't... No, we're fine. We made it through the first game just fine. We can make it through this game just fine as well. Here had their hearts changed? Crowds have a tendency to attract evil. I imagine some of them came of their own volition. Haru. <sighs> Look, Yodo has her phone out. She's gonna say it. Be ready. I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma, yes? 
I'm also no stranger to technology. So please feel free to add me. For those of you listening outside Sapporo, outside Hokkaido, or even outside the country, this invitation extends to each of you as well. The keyword is Snow City. Well, there you have it. The whole audience is friending her. Shouldn't we be stopping her right now? No. Causing a scene here would only draw unwanted attention. I hate to say it, but all we can do for now is watch. We can at least be glad we got the keyword. Now we can infiltrate Yoda's jail anytime we like. The smell here in Suzushino isn't too strong. Getting inside the jail won't be a problem. So the preparations have been made. Then let's go, everyone. If Mari-san really is the monarch, only we can stop her. We can't let her toy with the hearts of innocent people. True that. All right. Then let's ready up and begin infiltration. People are filing out after the special speech's conclusion. Time to make preparations for the jail. The safest way in and out is near the crossing where you can see the big sign. Once you're already, gather there. Roger. We'll be exploring a new jail. There's no telling what's waiting for us there. Let's be sure we're ready. Okay, so she's insane, and we are going to stop her immediately. But for now, we're going to leave things right here, and we'll do that tomorrow. So, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Persona 5 Strikers. Goodbye.